This is the ITC1000F 12 volt version. And for those looking to hook this up to use for, say, a heating pad for a lithium battery, the instructions were not very intuitive um, or the diagram. Initially, I thought that the 12 volt just went into here and then your heating element, you know, positive or negative went in here or for cooling. I'm only using it for heating, but no, that is not the case. And it took a lot of headaches to figure this out. Now you can put your 12 volt positive and negative in here and the unit will turn on. You can configure everything, but the heating and cooling parts are not powered. You actually have to pigtail over to get them to work. So basically, I'll put a diagram on the screen at the end and a link of the form where I found it. But basically, you're taking um, a pigtail from 1 over to 5 for the heating element. And then um, you have to pigtail your negative as well. So basically, you, your, your positive and negative from your 12-volt source are coming in to those, but you have to pigtail off. So if I wanted to get this heating pad working, I would need to go into number six and then hook up to the negative, hook up to the negative pigtail in order for that to work. And I'm not going to go over configuring the, the settings inside for the temperature control. There's other videos on how to do that. So if you've ever tried to do the 12 volt, ver 12 volt version and weren't sure how to do this, it is uh, quite confusing. So you do need pigtails to power the heating and cooling sections of this device.